Hey hack friends, this is Alex uh, coming at you from my home residence. Normally you see me at your school, so I'm sure it's a little bit weird, but at least we get to provide hack for you guys at your homes. Some of you guys may have seen me at Athlone on Tuesdays or Inglewood on Thursdays this year, but last year I definitely visited all the schools, so I hope to be a pretty familiar face. Uh, so as you know, hack is now going to be uh, through YouTube and through the computer and all of us going to be providing uh, videos at 2 p.m. And mine are going to be on Thursdays. Uh, so some of the things that I wanted to do for videos, and we can talk about this in the comment section, uh, is providing you some tutorial on how to sign up on some really fun educational websites that you guys can play games on. Uh, and then another one I thought would be really fun for us is to focus on some health and wellness uh, activities that I could provide for you guys and you guys can try at home. Also, with spring in the air, I know this week it's a little bit snowy so it doesn't fully feel like it, but soon we're going to see some things starting to bloom and I want you guys to do some challenges and see what we can find. So those are some of the ideas that I want to bring to you guys on Thursdays. Uh, please comment below if you have some ideas that you'd like me to do. Uh, for today though, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to sign up for Brain Pop and what you can do on it because I think you guys are going to have lots of fun on there. First, on your laptop, phone, or tablet, you're going to type in www.brainpop.com to go to the homepage website. Here, you're going to see that there's actually free access during the school closures and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to highlight Brain Pop. You can uh, learn science on here. You can also learn English, math, art and music, health, engineering and technology, and some new and trending. Pop also is really great because there is Brain Pop, which is meant for grades four to six, Brain Pop Junior for grades one to three, Brain Pop ELL if you want to practice English, Brain Pop and Espanol, which everything's in Espanol, and Brain Pop Le Français, which everything would be in Le Français. To get free access on that home page, you could click free access and then yes, I want to continue. Here is where you're going to click free family access. This is where you can make your account by entering in your information as well as an email, which could be a school email, your personal email or your parents email. The first thing I want to show you with some health uh, topics in Brain Pop because Hack likes to focus on health and wellness. As you can see, there's a lot of great topics to look through. Anything you click is going to show a really fun video and some games related to it. Uh, we have some topics that we've talked about like mental health and nutrition and positive relationships and a lot of sports and fitness that we do in hacks. You can click those ones. But one that I really want to show you uh, is in the disease and control and it is to do with the coronavirus. So some of you might be feeling a little bit confused about what's happening and what this all is. This video can really clearly explain to you what the coronavirus is about and what's happened so far. The next topic I wanted to point out was math. Math on Brain Pop is really fun and I think a lot of you will enjoy it. I know for a lot of the grade ones to three in Brain Pop Junior, adding and subtracting can be a bit tough and so there's a lot of great resources there. Uh, for the grades four to six in Brain Pop and Brain Pop and Spaniel, there's multiplication videos uh, and quizzes and the videos are really, really fun to watch so I think you will enjoy them. After the video, you can take a short quiz to see, did I get this? Do I get what it's been talking about? Uh, the quizzes are pretty simple. In the equation 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15, what is the product? Well, I know the product means answer, so the answer is 15. Woohoo! Once you complete the quiz, you can now practice in some games. Sortify has games that are more related to the video you just watched. So Sortify Multiplication uh, is a quite a fun game that I think you guys would enjoy playing. So you have tiles on the walls and you have to try to remove all the tiles off the walls. To do this, you're going to click the bucket and then you're going to pick a category like multiples of five because a lot of us will know how to count by our fives so we can find the tiles pretty easily. So now I'm going to search for my tiles. I know five is a multiple of five. I know 20, 25. Oh, 10. Now, if I miss some tiles, like 30, well, next time when I pick a bucket, I'm going to have to find something that 30 would fit into. Now, the challenge is, can I remove all the tiles off the wall? Next, I'm going to show you Game Up. Game Up has a bunch of really fun games that are related to multiplication. So there's some really fun addition games in there and some different types of multiplication in there and even some fraction games in there. 
Next, I'm gonna show you Brain Pop Junior. So these are for grades one to three, but to be honest, if you're even in a higher grade, some of these things could still be really interesting and relatable to you. So I suggest you can go through there as well if you'd like. I went to health and wellness again because that's what Hack likes to focus on, and there's different things that you can view. Uh, I'm bringing us to a really fun video about hand washing because uh, if you watch the coronavirus video, you'll notice that hand washing is a very important thing that we can do to help us prevent the spread. So when we click the hand washing video, we can watch it. And then after watching this video, we can do an easy quiz or a hard quiz to see if we got it. And there's even a game that is re directly related to the video that we can play to practice. So I know uh, Hack has some ELL students, so I wanted to highlight this feature for you. So you could take a placement test and see, am I in level one, two, or three? In these levels, there are different activities where you can practice the different parts of English in a fun way as well. So I thought you guys might enjoy this feature. Finally, I know I have some students that are more comfortable in Espanol than English, and so there are different categories that are all in Spanish for you. The health and wellness section is all in Spanish so that you can learn these different topics without struggling to understand what it's saying, and so this is a great feature. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on Brain Pop and all the great things that it has to offer. I hope you sign up and have a really fun week playing on it. Uh, tell me more in the comments below, and I will see you next week for another video.